Don't fret over the betrayal. If you absolutely must punish yourself, I think we have a wardrobe of hair shirts in here somewhere. In that desert, you proved two long-held Templar's beliefs. One, we can trust no one outside of the establishment. Two, the stain of unfinished business never truly fades. Attempting to contain darkness is to bet on a losing game. If there is a homicidal genie trapped in a bottle, the only question is if, not when, it will be uncorked. Oh, and by whom? This Orochi group, this... This corporation, in polite language, they pose a delicate diplomatic situation. Nothing like the Illuminati where we can strike a balance between forced civility and open resentment that builds character. No. The Arachi group have lobbying power inside the secret world, inside the council. Their media empire could compromise everything we have worked for with one broadsheet cover or a 60-minute special. Our hands are bound. We can react to a situation in Egypt or New England, but we must wait for fools to rush in first, a role that the Orochi seems keen to oblige. So I couldn't possibly ask you to rummage around in their affairs. Well, you look parched. Perhaps you should stop by the Horned God for a drink. There is no way that was a fair fight. I'm telling you, it was bloody rigged. I may have little faith left in humanity, but I do have faith in the Council's rigid attention to rules. There is no chance in hell the game was rigged. You owe me a pint of lager. Rigged! Look, I lost the wager, all right? I won't argue about that, but it was still rigged. Luella, two more pints, please. Well, I remember you. Oh, another one. Where do you find them? In a catalogue? Passed out on the street, yeah? A fallen king should carry a warning sign. Well, look at you, all grown up and back from the front lines. Make that three pints, Luella, love. Cheers, mate. So, what's Egypt like these days? I hear biblical is the word. More importantly, how is Amparo Osorio? We used to work together on the council. Lovely girl. Stunning breasts. For fuck's sake, Conrad, who cares about breasts at a time like this? I want to know what the Orochis think they're up to. In my experience, where the Orochi group is concerned, the question is never if they are up to something, but rather what they are up to. What do you mean? No. On the council, we dealt with Orochi on a daily basis. Their operations were often in conflict with ours, requiring diplomatic attention. Of all their subsidiaries, Vali in particular caused us many headaches. Vali? Remind me. Officially, genetics, bioengineering, Unofficially, they are heavily invested in occult research. There were persistent rumors of experiments on human subjects, that they were, you know, creating their own army of secret world soldiers. I was silly enough to ask questions. Hmm? And here I am, stripped of office and diplomatic status. Oh, yeah, I thought that was because of inappropriate behavior. Yeah, that didn't help at the tribunal. But the Templars were never particularly bothered about political correctness. However, you were never supposed to speak of the Orochi group. That was forbidden. <clears throat> there is an office right here in London. In the very shadows of Temple Hall. Are you serious? I never heard about that. Yeah, precisely. I find it very hard to believe that I know this, however, and our overlords at Temple Hall do not. But that is all I'm going to say on the subject. Now I will drink this beer and discuss the latest results from the secret war with Miss Vata, as is my wont.
Bali. Who's asking? <gasps> Live with the next cushions! Oh. <sighs> yeah, I know them. When Gran had me hospitalized, <laughs> institutionalized. <sighs> Amity House smelt like dead fridges. Ozone, no plants, no windows, no mirrors. So many pills, all the colors of a fake rainbow. They told me they would make the voices stop, make my episodes stop, and they were right. I never heard Gaia's voice all the time I was in there. Oh, but it was all fun and games when the restraints came off. They would hook me up to a machine, take my finger to a button, show me photos, surveys, maps, symbols. I tried everything, pressing it all the time, or not at all. When I was really doped up, I'd tap out the beat to love songs. One day they just threw me out into the greasy rain. Didn't care who I told. They knew no one would believe me. God, I couldn't believe it. Even the bad guys didn't want me. I was the wrong kind of freak. <sighs> there, there, there. This isn't because I'm upset. I'm angry. Never say we don't keep you on your toes. An opportunity has opened for us in Romania. Transylvania, to be exact, so you can guess the thrust of it. Once the stomping grounds of the Wallachian prince, Vlad Dracula. His knightly order was loosely, very loosely, affiliated with ours. Certainly, he had the right ideas. His methods, however, were as extreme as the stories suggest. I hazard that the man was demented in the end. Whatever that end was, the creatures that bear his myth, vampires, outlived him and have been throttling the life from the country ever since. Now... An army of the beasts have gathered in the Carpathian foothills. An army unafraid of sun, of discovery, of the fact that their medieval reenactment is 500 years out of date. We have been sanctioned by the council to destroy them. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. We expect to be sanctioned by the time it's over with. Um, one more detail. The Orochi group has a project in the mountains from which we understand there has been a distress call. I think it would be an act of chivalry to give it our full attention, don't you? Happy hunting. And um, pass my warmest regards on to Carmen. 